This is part of a video I'm doing on a stir plate, uh, which is something we use in brewing to, to propagate yeast. Very quickly, we, we need a, a fan to spin around and keep the yeast in suspension. Um, so we use uh, fans and uh, um, power supplies. So um, I wanted to talk about how to size a potentiometer based on the voltage and amp rating of the power supply. That's what a, um, a potentiometer is. There's the power supply, which has a fixed voltage and current. Um, so if we want to make the fan, which is right there, if we want to make it spin faster or slower, we need to regulate the voltage and amp. Uh, uh, and the combination of those two is energy watts coming coming out of the power supply. We do that with the potentiometer. All right. So, uh, but I need to know um, how much energy is coming out of the power supply. So I know I because I need to buy a potentiometer that will offset all of that energy coming out of the, the power supply. Um, uh, this this video might be interesting to anybody who needs to understand some basic basic electrical concepts. Um, I'm also doing this because there are dozens of potentiometers on the shelf, um, and they have ohm resistances that range from 10 ohms to tens of thousands of ohms. So it's very confusing uh, to know which one to buy. Um, I'm also going to do a video uh, at some point on electromagnetic energy and the relationship between voltage, current, and uh, and resistance uh, in 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 ter physics terms. Okay, first I have to talk about the difference between voltage current and resistance to explain uh, what I'm going to talk about better simply put voltage and current add energy to a circuit and resistance takes energy away so voltage I'll just write it in there voltage and current I'm trying to write and, and film at the same time uh, voltage and current uh, add energy to a circuit and resistance takes it away okay so resistance takes it away um, that's a little bit better so if you want the fan to speed up you would add voltage or current or both uh, if you want it to slow down you would uh, you would take a you would add resistance All right um, so hopefully that's pretty straightforward um, so there's a formula called Ohm's law and I'll write it in here you'll see this all over if you're looking up anything to do with electricity um, Ohm's law. Uh, Ohm was a, a scientist uh, from I think um, Switzerland or Sweden or something. Um, I should look should have looked that up. Um, who who developed this this formula uh, hundreds of years ago? Um, and the formula shows the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. It's actually very very straightforward. Um, if you know the voltage and the current um, from the power supply, you can calculate the third value of resistance. From from Ohm's law, and you know you'll know the rating of the the amps and the and the voltage from the power supply because it's stamped on there. It's stamped on every power supply. Um, what you don't know is what the potentiometer uh, resistance needs to be. But I'm gonna do two things uh, to show you how to calculate the uh, the potentiometer rating. We're gonna calculate the minimum resistance that's existing right now uh, with the the power supply, um, and then calculate the maximum resistance that's needed to slow the fan down to almost nothing. Uh, and, and if that's the case, if we got a potentiometer that can go from zero to maximum, we can then dial the potentiometer. Uh, to control, to basically offset every uh, bit of energy coming out of that power supply. Um, in practical terms, you always want the fan spinning fast enough to spin a liter of liquid, so you won't actually need a potentiometer with enough resistance to completely offset your power supply. But if you know what the maximum resistance level is, uh, then you know for sure that a potentiometer that produces that level of resistance is guaranteed to completely control your fan. Um, then, if you know that, you don't need to make a return trip to the store to um, you know, replace your, your weak, too weak um, uh, potentiometer. Okay, so Ohm's law, i get into that right now, is measured. Uh, it looks like this, okay? It's voltage equals current times resistance. So that, those are the, the variables uh, in, in units, okay? Voltage is measured in volts. Current is measured in amps. Resistance is measured in ohms, okay? 
Um, and we short form those with uh, V. I'm going to use A, but it's, it should be I. That's how the scientific uh, notation works, but I'll say A to keep it simple times O. All right, um, so voltage is always constant. Like in North America, uh, we have 120 volts in, in, in our wall outlets. In Europe, in most countries, it's uh, 220 volts. But you don't need all that electricity um, to run a little fan, right? So um, uh, we use a transformer to reduce the high voltage to something lower, like 5 or 12 volts. Um, and that's where the power supply comes in. And that's why so many devices like rechargeable power tools, computers, um, you know, game controls, etc., um, are all 5 or 12 volts. So I happen to have a 5 volt supply to turn my fan. And the, the 5 volts is there all the time. Um, so what I'll do is, is try to regulate these other two variables, the, the current and the resistance, in order to um, adjust the amount of energy flowing into the fan. So it's easy to see if that's always constant. Well, those two always have an inverse relationship. So if you reduce resistance, then you increase the, uh, the, the current through via amps and, and vice versa. Um, if you increase the amps and re reduce uh, resistance, the fan spins faster and, and vice versa. All right, so my power supply voltage is a constant 5 volts. The current is a constant 0 0.1 amps, or the rating you'll see on the, the power supply is in milliamps or thousandths of amps. So I, it's 180 milliamps, but I'll, I'll use 0.18, uh, it's easier. So Ohm's law then calculates the missing component resistance. So if I've got 5 volts that equals 0 0.18 amps, then I need to figure out what the resistance is. And it's a simple matter of, of algebra, just moving the amps down here. So dividing 5 by 0.18, I think it works out to 26. So 26 ohms is the resistance. And I'll call that the minimum resistance because that is um, the resistance that's existing in the power supply. Now, if my power supply was 12 volts, and uh, let's say the amp rating was uh, 0.2 amps. I need to know what the ohms are. So 12 divided by 12 divided by 0.2 is uh, uh, 60. So 60 ohms is the resistance. Okay. okay so um, it, it's very easy to calculate the what I'll call the existing or minimum resistances. Right? Um, so if that's just a recap, voltage never changes. You always have 120 or 220 volts at your wall outlet. You have 12 volts in your current battery. And in my case, I've always got five volts in the power supply. To change the um, how much energy is supplied to a device, in this case, I want to get the fan to slow down. You have to change this side of the equation, uh, the resistance, because we want to add resistance in order to reduce the current to get the fan to slow down, because that'll um, that's just the way it works. To slow the fan completely, I need to supply near, nearly zero amps of current. So for example, um, I'll use my five again. Five volts equals, let's say, 0.01 amps, okay? And then that equals uh, whatever, that would be 500 uh, ohms. Uh, and that will completely slow down that fan to nothing. So when, when I dial the potentiometer over there, I can dial it between 26 and 500 uh, ohms. If I had a potentiometer rated at 500 ohms, I could dial it between 26 and 50, and that would completely move the fan from its uh, from from nothing to to its maximum. Right? Um, but I think that's probably going to be going too slow. If I added all that resistance, um, it's going to be too slow for my purposes because I still need to spin this yeast. So I'm going to um, increase the amp. I'm going to double the, the minimum uh, uh, amp rating and up to 0.02. And the, the reason I'm doing that is um, I, I figured if the, if the standard rating is 0.18, I could take 10% of that. And that would, that would theoretically mean that I could slow the fan down to 10% of its speed. Um, and that would be as low as it'll go. So what I said is let's take 5 equals um, uh, 0.02. Okay, I'm going to round it up. Okay, so 0, uh, 0.02 amps. And that'll, uh, that'll then be 250 ohms, right? So uh, what I did then is I went and bought a 
potentiometer that's rated at 250 ohms. That's exactly why I did it. Now, my my methodology is it's mine. Um, it, it makes sense um, conceptually to me, and it works. I've I've, I've tested out my stir plate, and it does um, does what I think it's going to do. And I, I think there's nothing wrong with that. So um, uh, I would do exactly what I just did. Take your uh, voltage, take your amp rating, uh, take 10% of your amp rating, and then calculate your resistance. And that will be exactly what your potentiometer uh, rating should be. And you know exactly what to buy. So I hope that's pretty straightforward. If you wanted to take, uh, say, a 12 volt uh, power supply that you got, and it's rated at, uh, let's say, uh, uh, 25 milliamps, so put in uh, 0 0.25 amps. What's the resi what's the minimum resistance, and, and what's the max? So the minimum would be 12 divided by 20, uh, 0.25, which would be 48. And then if you wanted the maximum uh, rating, you just, like I said, take 10% of that, so 0 0.025 amps times 480 ohms. So then buy a potentiometer that's uh, 480 ohms, and uh, that'll do the job for you. Now, that's, um, as I said, if you, you, you might get that, and you might find that the slow uh, speed is way too slow. In that case, you know, you could probably go buy another potentiometer. They're only a couple bucks. Um, and get one rated half of that, okay, so a 250 ohm uh, potentiometer, and that'll do the job, but I think this will work. And by the way, you can't buy exactly 480, you can buy 500, 250, 1000, etc. Right? One last point on all of this is my, my, my um, uh, fan. It's rated for 12 volts and 0 0.2 amps, and that's higher than the power supply. But because the power supply is 5 volts and 0.18 amps, the, the fan will just spin slower. So it's okay to supply less electricity to a device, but not okay to supply more than what, the, the in this case, the fan's rating is. Because the fan will, will spin too fast and burn out. That would be quite dangerous. So make sure your power supply voltage isn't higher than the fan voltage. Right? So look, I hope that was uh, useful and um, uh, appreciate any feedback. Thank you.